So I ordered some Care Pros um, from this website called. Um... Hold on, let me check. Okay, so it's from a website called Cosmetics for You. Um, <clears throat> I just got this today. I want to show you guys the bottle. This is what it looks like. I don't know about this because, I mean, everything is English on the bottle, like all the wording and all that crap. But then we go on top of the bottle, bam! I think that's Indian or something. I'm not sure what type of language that is, but whatever. This is the generic version of... Um, the generic version of of Lumigan, like Latisse, you know. So I ordered from them, and when I placed my order, let me guys let me tell you guys how this how this went down. So I placed my order with them online. I believe I entered my credit card information, and they didn't ask. Wait, no, 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 no. They asked for a tracking number. Or like your routing number, I forgot those. The, I think like your routing number. Your tr why did I say tracking number? Like the fuck, <laughs> it's not a package. Um, <laughs> they asked for your routing number. I think that that's what it, they asked for your routing number and stuff like that. And what I did was I was not about to give them my debit card. Like no. So what I did, I went to Walmart. Hold on. Okay, I went to Walmart and I got one of these, um, one of these, one of these little cards from Walmart, you know, and right here has, has the account number inside and it has the banking routing number. I'm never going to use this card again. I only bought this and loaded money on this so I could order the Care Pros. Because I was not about to give them my actual debit card, my actual banking account number and routing number. I don't think so. So I gave them that, gave them that, and I put it all in the on the web, you know, type it, put all the information on their website. And the next day, someone called me from Cosmetics for You um, to confirm my order. They asked for. Um, they did ask for a copy of my, they, they wanted a picture, they wanted to see my ID, but they did tell me to cover up, I could cover my ID number and my address and all that stuff. Just, they want to see my name. They want to know the name is matching the card, but I don't know how, this was like a temporary debit card, so I don't know how it would match my name, but maybe because I entered my social security number when I got the card, when I activated, I don't know, but they confirmed that through the um, your ID, whatever. And then after that, um, a lady called me like the next day after that. After that phone call, the next day after that, a lady called me um, confirming my order again. And then 15 days later, I got my package. And... I just got it today. I'm going to make a video when I start using it. Um, when I show you guys before how my eyelashes look. And then um, give you guys updates on how this is working for me. And it does come with a little eyeliner brush. Right here. And um, I suggest you guys ordering from these places overseas that ask for routing number and banking number, don't give them your actual routing and banking number. Go get one of these, one of these credit cards from Walmart. My nails are so dirty, sorry. Go get one of these credit cards from Walmart, you know what I'm saying? And load money on there and order like that. That way you feel more safer. You know they're not gonna have your actual like banking account number, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what I want to share with you guys, so. Peace out, toodles, and happy trails. Oh, and I love every, I love all my subscribers. I am, I love all you guys. I am so grateful, so grateful.
for everyone who has been subscribing to my channel, supporting me. I love you guys. And it's, I mean, I, I just want to say thank you. And peace out. All right. So, okay, you guys. I, okay, last night I used the Care Pros. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, last night I put the little dropper, put the little dropper on the on the brush, and I put it on like eyeliner. Okay. After I put on like eyeliner, I'm sorry. I waited like, like. Excuse me. So sorry. Okay, after I put it on, I waited like um a few minutes, like after you know it dried up, or whatever, and then I noticed that my right eye was burning i was like what the fuck is this is this normal like i don't know so i started freaking out and i went to the bathroom and what i did was i didn't wipe it off like wipe clean it off with soap what i did was i lift my eyelash up like this and i got a q-tip and i cleaned all right here of my eyelid just in case if the if the medication was kind of dripping towards inside my eye whatever that's what it felt like it was burning I didn't know why the burning would last for a few minutes and it'll go away and the burning sensation will come back I don't know if that's normal I don't know if that's what's supposed to happen when you use care pros or whatever like I'm not sure and then like and then anyway, anyways bleh, sorry so then in the morning I forgot I put the damn thing on my eye so then, I, you know, every morning I rub my eye, like I rub my eye and stuff. So I started rubbing my eye and then, oh my God, that was the worst mistake ever, ever. My whole eye turned, it was this eye, my whole eye turned red, it was burning. I was dropping my kids off at school. I had to pull over because my eye was burning so bad. I couldn't see and it was, it was horrible. And the only thing I kept thinking is, Am I gonna lose my eyesight? Long eyelashes is not worth losing my eyesight. Like long having long eyelashes is not worth losing your sight. It's really not. But I don't know if that's a, like I don't hear no girls talking about the shits burning their eyes. I have not saw that one video a girl mentioned that it burns her eyes. I keep seeing hearing stuff about leaving dark circles, leaving um taking the fat away from your eyes so your eyes are a little sucked in that's all i heard i didn't hear i never have not heard one girl saying that it burns their eyes my mom has glaucoma and i know why they take that medication that medication my mom used lumigan and lumigan care post is like a generic version of lumigan or whatever but my mom used lumigan and that that medication does it brings the eye pressure down make sure because you know you have glaucoma your your pressure goes up your pressure your eye goes up you have a chance of going blind so then they gotta use those drops to bring the eye pressure low i don't have glaucoma my eyes don't need to be the eye my the pressure is fine the way it is it don't, it don't need to be dropped anymore so in my head i'm thinking is the pressure in my eye gonna go low because little bits is going in my eyeballs i don't know and i saw this one video this lady is saying oh if it goes in your eye it's okay it's okay <laughs> Bitch, no, it's not okay. Like, what the fuck? That shit shouldn't be going in your eye. We don't have, I don't have glaucoma. People that don't have glaucoma shouldn't be allowing that shit to go in their eyes. Stupid. And I just want to let you guys know that. That shit burned the shit out of my eye when I put it on. Not my eye, it didn't burn my eyelid. It, it burned my eye, like, my eyeball was burning last night. I don't know if I'm going to use this again. I don't know, like, maybe I just had a bad experience that day, or I I'm on the fence if I'm going to be, if I'm going to use it again. I don't know, because I could just get fake eyelashes and I'll be fine, instead of trying to grow long eyelashes is not worth your eyesight, losing your eyesight, or messing with your eyesight. This, this, this is not worth it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just had to share that with you guys, because I think it's very important for you ladies to know that this shit could... We could mess our eyes up trying to grow long eyelashes, man. Fuck, dude. Like, our eyes aren't burning because they're burning. It's burning because something went, in, went up in there. Like, you know what I mean? So, I just had to share this with you girls, guys, or whatever. Toodles, happy trails, and peace.
Peace out.